Hi, you. Welcome back to the Sweet Sounds of Reading TV, a place where you'll be learning how to break down the sounds inside of any words so that you'll be able to read anything. Now, before we get started, I have two quick questions I need to ask you. Number one, are you ready to learn some new secret sound out steps? Hmm? Great. Now, number two, did you practice, practice, practice everything that you learned from the last class? Well, that's great as well, because in order to keep up with today's class, you're going to have to show what you know. And if you didn't practice, you can't show, right? Right. Now, with that being said, let's get started. Now, today's class is a bounce sounds class, okay? Now, a bounce sound is a sound that bounces out of your mouth, just like the name implies. I want you to think about a ball, how it bounces, right? So, when you make a bounce sound, you should only create one quick sound. Now, if you attempt to hold or slide a sound, one of these bounce sounds, you'll end up making two sounds, okay? And we don't want to do that. Now, slide sounds are, some, if you recall, slide sounds are, are sounds that you can slide, you can hold them as long as you have breath and still make one single solitary sound. But that's not the case with bounce sounds. Bounce sounds, they're quick, they just bounce like a ball, they just bounce out of your mouth, okay? So, let's do a little practicing with bounce sounds. Here we go. All right. Now, as we just mentioned, a bounce sound makes only one sound. And here's the thing. Now, when you're practicing at home, if you hear yourself making two sounds when you're practicing bounce sounds, try again. All right. So let's let's do a quick little demo with this bounce sound. Now, this particular sound makes the b sound. Repeat after me. B b. Right. That's a lip sound. B. Right. Now, when you make this sound, if you hear yourself saying b. Buh, listen, listen, pretend like alpha ears on your shoulder, right? Buh, if you say, if you hear yourself saying two sounds, like the buh, the buh, and the uh sound, try again, all right? But we're going to learn, and we're going to practice, and we're going to learn how to make one single solitary sound, all right? So let's do a quick little demonstration, all right? For my levels one student, that you, my students who are just now learning how to sound out, um, letter sounds and maybe you don't know letter sound names yet or anything like that just hold tight for a second and just kind of watch this demonstration my levels two and three students you might be all you might be already familiar you should be already familiar with what sound this makes but and what sound this makes now for all three levels who remembers this sound what sound this is a slide sound from, that we learned um way back in class number one what sound does this sound make did you say e? Good job. Remember, this is that which sound e, right? So this is what we're gonna do. I want you to watch first, right? I'm gonna bounce. I'm gonna bounce this this first sound out of my mouth, and then I'm gonna go into a slide, and then I'm gonna end in, end on the bounce, right? Listen. Big. Did you hear that? Big, right? Right. Remember when we talked about slide sound being your friend. So a slide sound is your friend. So you can hold that sound and hold that sound as long as you need to while you try, while you figure out the next sound and still be sweet, smooth and cool, right? Big, all right? Let's slide those three sounds fast. Big, big, right? What does big mean? Hmm? I'll tell you what I think it means. Or I think I'll tell you what I know it means. You're going to learn big things if you're hanging in with me, okay? Good job. All right. All right. So let's move on to our very first bounce sound. All right. Now, this is a sound picture. Okay. And in all of the bounce sound pictures, you'll see a little bitty clue right there in the corner, a bouncing ball. And that's your clue to bounce the sound out of your mouth. Right. So I'm going to say four words that begin with the, this bounce sound. Right. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to imagine a pair of puckering lips, puckering up your lips as you practice this soft lip sound, all right? So repeat these words after me, right? Pucker up your lips. Puffy. Pout. Pretty. Please. Okay? So repeat these words again. Puffy. 
pout. Pretty. Please. Now, the very first sound in all four of those words was pout, right? So this particular bounce sound is a... Um, it's a, you make this sound by pressing your lips together. And you make three quick, soft sounds. Listen. You try it. Good job. Good job. All right. Now, look at this. Let's look at this, um, this sound picture for a moment. And let's look at the shape. What does that shape look like to you? Huh? I'll tell you what it looks like to me. It looks like a, a stick with a circle or a donut at the top of the stick. Hmm. That's what it looks like to me. All right? So we're going to commit this sound picture to memory, right? So we're going to pretend like our, our, our eyes are a camera, you know, like your camera phone. And you're going to turn your eyes into a camera, right? And you're going to zoom in on the sound, and you're going to open your eyes really, really wide. When I say take the picture and squeeze your eyes really, really shut. All right? So zoom in on the sound on your screen. Now, take the picture. Good job, right? So we have stored what we've done here, just like the pictures in your camera phone, we have stored this image in our mind, right? So when we, whenever we start reading, um, whenever, or if you run across this sound in a book or a magazine on the back of a cereal box or, or on TV screen, wherever you see this, this stick with the donut at the top, you're going to like, oh yeah, yeah, I know who that sound is. That's Good job, good job. Good. So let's make a backup, right? So we've taken a picture, right? So now let's turn our eyes into a, uh, into the video mode. We're going to hit that little click in our, that little switch in our brain, and we're going to turn our eyes into a video camera, right? So we're going to make a movie of this sound, right? So we're going to store this movie in our mind so that if um, we come across a difficult word or that, that has this sound in it, you're going to look like, Okay, play this, play the movie, play the movie, right? So you're gonna play the movie. Open your eyes really, really wide. Zoom in on the, the sound on the screen here. Now slowly close your eyes. Close your eyes, all right? Now I'm gonna be talking to you. Keep your eyes closed. Don't peek and don't cheat. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed, right? And I want you to see that that image in your mind, right? That stick with that donut at the top. And I want you to remember that this is a this is a puffy sound, like like a pair of lips pouting and, and being pretty and pouting and pleased, right? And making those, those three sounds. So open your eyes, right? So you're going to run that, I want you to run that movie in your mind, right? Or I want you to, to call up a picture in your mind of this sound, right? So now, just like we did in all the other classes, we're going to slide the sound down the sliding board. It's going to be a little bit different this time, okay? Because this time, what we're going to do is we're going to bounce this sound. We're going to bounce the sound out of our mouths, and then we're going to go into two slide sounds. All right. Now, who remembers what this sound is? Hmm? Ah, good job. And what about this sound? Mmm, good job. So we remember, we learned the mmm sound in class way back in class number one, and I think the ah sound in class number two. So, so you can kind of see why it's really important to practice. Because you gotta, you gotta, in order to keep up with all the classes, right? You've gotta show what you know, and you've gotta know your stuff, right? So here's what we're gonna do. Watch me first, right? I'm gonna bounce this sound out of my mouth, and I'm gonna smoothly go into two slide sounds, right? Watch, listen how smooth this is. Pan. Did you hear that, right? So, remember I said you can't hold or slide a bounce sound. A bounce sound just got to bounce. That's just snap. It has a bounce out of your mouth. But you can, when you go into a slide sound, you can hold or slide those sounds. Remember I said slide sounds are your friend, right? Slide sound um, helps you not only sound out hard words, but slide sounds also help you um, when you're trying to sound out a difficult um, letter sound. And this particular letter sound is kind of difficult for some of my students, right? Because it, 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 it has to be quick. You have to, right? Pan. Okay. So let's, you try it. On the count of three. One, two, three, go. Pan. Good job, right? Now, you, now, you want to make sure you didn't do this. And right, you didn't go and because that's not smooth and that's not cool. We've got to be smooth and cool. Listen, 
because it bounces, you have to get it out your mouth. And the end slide sound, you just kind of hold them as long as you want to, right? So now we're going to slide to the side, right? But this is going to be a little bit different from um, when, we were, when we were sliding to the side with our slide sounds. You're going to use the little sound picture clues under each letter to help you know how to, to, to say the sounds, how to pronounce the sounds in your mouth, right? So there's a little bouncing ball under the buck sound, there's a sliding board under the a, eh, and there's a sliding board under the m. Mm. So we're going to slide these sounds to the side really fast, okay? One, two, three, go. Pan. Pan. What's a pan? Can you use pan? Think of a sentence, right? Make up a sentence in your mind using the word pan. Okay? I'll tell you. I'll tell you my sentence, right? I use a pan to fry up some eggs. If I, I used to eat eggs. I don't eat eggs anymore. But when I used to eat eggs, I would fry up some eggs in a pan. All right. Good job. All right. Moving right along. Let's learn a, let's learn a, um, we're going to practice something a little different, right? We're going to practice sliding the, remember we talked about the five most important sounds of all the sounds in our last class? These five sounds, um, who remembers the two, the two names we gave for these sounds, right? One um one name starts with the mm sound and another name starts with the t sound. Who remembers those those two names that we, we use for these five sounds? Hmm? Did you say vowels, vowel sounds, or taste sounds, right? Because every single solitary word has to have one of these special sounds in them, right? So and they're all slide sounds. Remember slide sounds are your friend, right? So we're gonna slide each one of these um, special sounds to the bounce, to the, the sound that we learned today. So it's going to watch me first. It's going to be something like this. Ap. 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 Okay? So we're going to do it a little bit faster. Ready? So we're going to start with this sound. Go. Ap. Ip, ip, ab, up. Good job. Now, who, now, did you remember that this is the wizard sound and this is the witch sound? So when you make this sound, your voice gets a little deep. Eh. And you make this sound, your voice gets a little high. Eh. But you remember that, right? All right. So now we're going to switch it up a little bit. So now we're going to practice bounce. We're going to practice the bouncing into the slide right and we're gonna we're gonna bounce this into these those five special slide sounds all right so watch me first it's gonna be something like this pa pe pe pa pa alright ready you try it go pa pe pe pa pa good job good job all right Let's learn a new sound, all right? Da -da -da! Let me center this on the screen here. All right, so this is a sound picture. See the bouncing ball in the corner? This is your clue that this is a bounce sound, okay? So I want you to imagine a baby babbling as you practice this hard lip sound by saying these three words as fast as you can. Bam, 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 you say it. Bam, bam, bam. And the very first sound you heard in all three of those words was buh, buh, right? So we're going to practice this bouncing sound by pressing our lips together and making three quick, loud, popping sounds. Buh, buh, buh. You try it. Buh, buh, buh. All right. All right. Now, let's look at the shape again, right? Now, look at this shape. Tell me what it looks like to you. It's kind of, it kind of looks a little bit similar to the buck sound, but a little bit different, right? Because in this particular sound, it looks like a stick with a, with a, with a donut, but the donut's at the bottom of the stick this time. Hmm. All right. 
said it, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a picture of this sound in our mind. Right? We're going to turn our eyes into a camera and I want you to zoom in on the b sound on your screen here. Open your eyes really, 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 really wide. Now take the picture. Good job. Good job. All right. So, again, when we start reading stories and books and things like that, whenever you run across this sound, you're going to say, Oh, I know that sound. That's b, b, b. That's that hard lip sound. B, right? All right. Let's make a movie, right? Let's back up our, our, our um, our, our camera, our picture with a, with a video, right? So we're going to click that little switch in our mind and turn our eyes from a camera, from the camera mode to the video mode, the video mode, right? So zoom in on the b sound, open your eyes really, really wide, but this time slowly close your eyes. Keep them close. When I'm talking to you, keep your eyes, get your eyes closed. Don't peep, all right? So I want you to re re recall the shape of this b sound, right? It's a stick. With a with a with a ball, or I should say a circle at the at the bottom. I want you to remember that baby, bam, 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 right? And this is a lip popping sound, but it's a, a sound, but it's hard. B b b. Okay. Open your eyes, right? Good job. All right. So now we're gonna we're gonna finger slide, bounce and slide the sound down the sliding board. Okay. So you're gonna use your finger. And you're gonna you're gonna bounce this b sound out of your mouth, and you're gonna go into an uh sound and an mmm sound. Not just assume that you remember that that was uh from the last class, right? Uh, good job. Uh, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna climb up the little sliding board. We're gonna bounce, and then we're gonna go into the two slides, and we're gonna be smooth and cool. Listen, watch me, and listen first. Right? It's like this. Bum. All right, you ready to try it together? Let's do it together. Bounce, slide, slide. Bum. Good job. All right. So now we're gonna slide to the side. All right. But again, you're gonna use the the, um, pitch, the picture clues under each sound to to get to help you. It's kind of your helper to show you how to um. Um, about to slide these sounds together as fast as you can. Ready? One, two, three, go. Bun. Bun. What's a bun? Hmm? I'll tell you what a bun is. It's um the bread that you um that's on your sandwich, right? If you go to McDonald's, you might um have a a bun on your hamburger, right? Or if you're or if your mom or dad barbecues in that backyard, you might have some hot dog bun. So a bun is a piece of bread, right? Good job, bun. All right. So now we're gonna we're gonna do, we're gonna do our sound out practice, right? So we're gonna go from the slide sound to a bounce sound, right? So we're gonna slide these five sounds a e e a a one at a time into the b sound, right? So it's gonna be something like this: ab. Ib, ib, ab, ub. All right, ready to try it together? Let's do this. Ab, ib, ib, ab, ub. Good job. All right. So now we're going to practice that b sound going into the five taste sounds or the five vowel sounds. Right. Let's do this together. On the count of three. One, two, three, go. Ba, 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 ba. Good job, good job, good job. Ready to learn one more sound? Great. Let's do this, all right? Here we go. Now, this is a bounce sound. Um, now, you see the ball again in the, in the corner here? That's your clue to let you know that this sound has to bounce out of your mouth, all right? So, I want you to imagine a girl gulping grape juice, and I want you to feel the vibration in your throat as you practice or you listen to these three words. Listen first. Girl, gulp, grapes. And you heard that, that very first sound you, hear, you heard in those three sounds? Girl, gulp, grapes, all right? So, you try it. Girl, gulp, 
grapes. Good job, all right? So I want you to practice this bouncing sound from the back of your throat by opening your mouth really wide. And then I want you to make, um, I'm sorry, by opening your mouth and making three hard grunting, almost like a grunting or a gulping sound. It's like this. Go, go, go. All right? You try it. Go, go, go. Good job, good job, good job. All right. Now, look at the shape. Mm -hmm. at the, of this sound picture. Look at this shape here. Mm -hmm. What does that shape look like to you? I'll tell you what it looks like to me. It looks like a circle or a donut, if you will, at the top of an upside down candy cane. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like to me. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a picture in our mind of this gut sound. All right. So open your eyes really, really wide. I want you to zoom in on the sound picture on go on your screen. Now take the picture. Good job, good job. So now we've stored that that image in our mind, right? So we can call it up whenever we need to, right? Or whenever we run across it in a word, right? Any place, any any place we see this this g sound, right? You're gonna recall that picture that you took in your mind of that g sound, all right? So now let's make a movie. Let's make a video, right? So we're gonna change our eyes from the camera mode to the video mode. Hit that little click, all right? So now we're gonna make a movie movie of the g sound. So zoom in on the sound picture on your screen. Now slowly close your eyes. Good job. Now let's make the movie. Keep your eyes closed while I talk you through it, right? I want you to imagine um, that that circle, remember that circle on an upside down candy cane, right? Hmm? I want you to remember that girl gulping grapes, right? As this, this, these, those three sounds come out of the back of your throat. Go, go, go. Good job. Open your eyes. All right. Good job. Move you right along. So now we're going to we're going to practice bouncing and sliding. Um, we're going to practice bouncing and sliding sound together. Now in this particular word, there's a bounce sound that we just learned. B. There's that. Who remembers this sound? This is a slide sound. A. Hey. And then who remembers this sound? G. G. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. So we're going to go from a bounce to a slide to a bounce. All right. All right. So watch me first. Watch and listen. And remember, slide sounds are your friends. So you can hold or slide these sounds, but you can't hold or slide bounce sounds. You gotta get, you gotta, they gotta bounce out of your mouth, right? So listen up. Big, big. All right. Now you try it. Count to three. One, two, three. Go. Big. All right. All right. All right. So now we're gonna slide to the side. Okay, so look at the sound picture clues or the picture clues that I, that I um on the on the sound picture to give you an eye to help you uh know how to practice or sound out these words. Okay, this these three sounds. I'm so sorry. All right, so so this is a bounce sound going into a slide sound going into a bounce sound. Ready? Fast as you can. Go. Big, big. Right, and also this is not only a slide sound. This is a wizard sound, right? So it's that it's deep. Big, good job. What does big mean? Does anybody have a dog? Do you have a dog? I'll tell you what. Sometimes when you have a dog and you're at the table eating or you're eating something, what do dogs do? They like they beg it. They beg for your food, right? Beg, right? Good job. All right. All right. So now. Let's practice um, sliding. Um, sl let's practice slide sliding to this bounce sound. Good, right? Remember the five taste sounds or the five vowel sounds. So we're gonna practice sliding the, the, the taste sounds into the bounce sound. All right? Let's do it. I think we we got the gist of this now. So let's just do it. Ready? Go. Egg. 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 Ah, uh, good job, good job. All right. So now we're going to reverse it. We're going to go from a bounce to the slide sounds. Okay. So we're going to go from the bounce go to the five taste sounds. Right. The five slide sounds. Ready? Go. Get, 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 ga, go. Good job. Good job. You are doing big things. 
All right. Now, so this is in your homework. This is a part of your homework. Um, um, this is a homework practice activity. Where we're going to talk about how to how to write or build these three new sounds that we learned today. And it's, when I'm going a little, I'm going to go a little fast because again, like I said, this is in your homework. But I want you just to to pay attention to the shape, the size, right? So remember the the sky, the fence, and the ground lines in your writing paper. So in order to make the p sound, you're going to start at the um, fence line. You're going to draw a straight line all the way down to the ground. But instead of stopping at the ground, you're going to keep continuing on with that. That, that straight line or that stick below the um, ground line. And then you're going to pick up your pencil or your crayon. You're going to put it right there on the, um, right below the, the fence line, but right on, on your stick, right? And then you're going to start making that donut or making that circle, okay? All right. And let's go to the next one, right? Now the b, b sound, right? Now there's two ways to make this sound, right? You're gonna you're gonna make you're gonna make the small little stick right, and you it's gonna be just above the fence line, and you're gonna draw a straight line all the way down. Make that stick and draw a straight line all the way down to the ground line, right? And then you're gonna pick up your pencil or your crayon, and you're gonna put it on your stick, but just below the um the fence line, and then you're gonna make that donut. You're gonna draw that circle, all right? And if you, when you're practicing this bus sound, if you start your stick closer to the um to the skyline, that's okay too. All right. Now look at the g sound. All right. Look at the g sound. So you're gonna start your upside down candy cane. You're gonna start with your upside down candy cane first, right? So you're gonna put your um pencil or crayon right here on the fence line, and you're gonna draw a straight line all the way down, all the way down through the um the ground line, and then you're gonna at the bottom you're gonna start making your your little candy cane or your little loop, right? And then you're gonna pick up your pencil. You're gonna put it just below um the fence line, but right on. The stick area, the, the, the stick area that you that you did on your candy cane, and you're gonna start making, you're gonna start drawing that circle or that donut. Okay, good job. All right. So again, that's in your homework practice. So for my levels, um, for my levels two and three students, and my level one students who are very comfortable with you know writing, this is a a tracing sheet in your homework packet. So you can practice making um, the p, b, and the g sounds, all right? And then these are some words, some practice um, words that you can um, practice writing and sounding out, okay? Now this is for my level one, two, and three students. This is your cursive, your cursive writing um, sheet, and this is also in your homework packet, all right? So again, you're practicing writing the p, the b, and the g sound in cursive writing. And cursive letters okay now now this is let's do our eye tracking activity right so if you recall from our last um, classes but to make to do this particular activity you're going to be just moving your eyes only not your head right your head needs to remain stationary and when you're doing this this activity at home you're going to have your um, your paper or your tablet right in front of your face right in front of your eyes and so when you're tracking from when you get to this this the end of the line here, your eyes should whip to the next line, right? So your eyes should it should look like this when you're tracking these sounds, right? So, right? So, well, let's just do this together. So we're gonna start here with the b sound. We're gonna read across, and then when we get to the end of the line, our eyes gonna gonna um, whip back over here. We're gonna read the sound. Or I should say read. We're gonna say the sounds, and then when we get to the last line, we're gonna we're gonna sound out the words. Okay, ready? Go. B, g, p, b, g, b, 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 g, pan, bag, bun. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. So. Moving right along, I've taken away the lines, your little cheat sheet, your little crutches, right? We're going to do the same activity again, and we're going to see if you can not lose your, your, um, your place. Ready? Go. B, g, p, b, 
g, b, 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 g, pan, bag, bun. Good job, good job. All right. And again, if that was a little bit too fast, when you get your homework packet, you just slow it down at and to at your own pace. All right. So now remember, in in um, lesson six, we talked about sandwiching the vowel or making the san sandwiching the vowel or making the sandwich or the taste sound. Right? We're going to sandwich the taste sound. Right? So this is in your homework activity. So what you're going to do, you're going to this is your SOS bookmark, and SOS stands out for sound out steps. Right? And these are whole word sandwiches. So what you're going the first step you're going to do. Is you're gonna find, you're gonna circle the taste sound, and then you're gonna make the sandwich, and then you're gonna sound out the word. And remember, when you make the sandwich, you just underline. Um, you're gonna you're gonna underline the cookie sound on the right and the cookie sound on the left of the, the taste sound, right? So I did the first one for you, right? So you're gonna circle the vowel, eh, of the taste sound, and then you're gonna make the sandwich, right? So to make the sandwich, you look for the sound, the cookie sound on the right. Or the cookie sound on the left, right? So then you underline in the sandwich and then you sound up the sandwich. Just pin. Good job. All right. So this is in your homework packet, right? So you're gonna you're gonna practice making the sandwich. All right. So remember this guy? This is alpha ear. This is also a part of your homework packet where you're going to um, find the hidden bounce sounds. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide, you're gonna finger slide across these 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 letter sounds until you find one of these key hidden sounds. So we're gonna do this first line together, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tell me when to stop, right? When you when, when as the circle goes um, across. One of the hidden sounds, you're going to scream, stop. All right, so here we go. Stop. What's the sound? Good job. All right, we're looking for the hidden sounds. We're going to slide across, slide across. Tell me when to stop. Tell me when to stop. Tell me when to stop. Stop. What's the sound? Good job. All right, so tell me when to stop. 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 Stop. What's the sound? Go. Good job. All right. So in your homework packet, there's a whole sheet of hidden um, bounce sounds activities. All right. All right. Good job. Moving right along. This is also what we call the sound strip. Right. So the sound strip is also going to be in your homework packet. So what you're going to do is you're going to um for your if there are any parents or reader teachers in the room, you're going to use a stop. Uh, stopwatch, right? And you're going to um, set the timer for, let's say, 20 seconds. And the object of the game is to get through the sound strips from the top to the bottom, from the top to the bottom, from the top to the bottom before the before the time runs out. But here's the key: if the student um, mispronounces a sound or mispronounces sounding out a word, you have to start all the way back over, right, before the, 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 the clock runs out, all right? And if 20 seconds is too much, you can you can cut it down for, thir thir uh, oh, I can't even talk, 15 seconds. Or if 20 seconds is not enough, you can add maybe 30 seconds. Now, for my levels 2 and 3 students, maybe you might start off with um, 15 seconds, etc. Right. So, but we're not going to time ourselves today. We're just going to go through the sounds, right? We're going to start at the top here. We're going to um, say the sounds all the way. We're going to start at the top to the bottom, top to the bottom, top to the bottom, all right? And we'll start. Ready? Go. Bag. Bag. Pal. Bus. Gal. Pup. Good job. Good job. Good job. Again. For my level one students, or for any of my students, if that was a little bit too fast, again, when you get your homework, um, when you get your homework packet, just slow it down to your pace. Okay. Moving right along. This is also a homework activity, the word search, right? So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna um, there's Alpha here. You're gonna help Alpha find these hidden um, words within this um, word search puzzle. All right, so that's in your homework packet. 
So now we're going to do something a little bit different. I want you to think of let I want you to think that of, of letter sounds as a music, right? And we're going to learn how um, how to how to make music. We're going to learn how to some dance steps, so to speak, right? So um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just kind of blanked out there, right? So let's just move on. Please forgive Tutor Vanessa. I've been I've been tutoring all day, and I get all mixed up in my head, all right? So here's the thing. So you've already learned two different music sounds that letters can make. So letters can make slide sounds, which are three-second sounds, or letters can make bounce sounds, okay? So so hold that thought for a second. All right? So we're going to learn. We're going to learn how to do the letter sound dance, right? Right? So whenever you see a slide sound, what you're going to do is you're going to slide to the left, all right? And whenever you see a bounce sound, you're going to bounce up, right? Now, when you're doing this um, homework homework activity at home, you're going to you. I want you to stand up, and I want you to I want you to dance out these sounds, right? But for today's class, we're going to do a chair dance, right? So when we see a slide sound, you're going to slide left. You see a bounce sound, you're going to bounce up, all right? It's gonna make sense in a minute, I promise. We're, this is we're gonna dance the sound, okay? All right. So this is in your homework activity, right? And so here are the steps we're gonna do. We're, we're gonna do what's called the letter sounds dance. And here are the steps, right? Step number one, you're gonna sound out the word. Step number two, you're gonna write the dance steps down for each letter in the box, right? And then step number three, you're gonna dance the sounds, right? Step number four, you're just going to re repeat it, all right? So it goes something like this, all right? So whenever you see a slide sound, you're going to write uh, an S in the box. Whenever you see a bounce sound, you're going to write a B in the bounce, right? In the box, right? So this is my for my level two and three students. Level one students, I want you to hang tight for a second, all right? So step one, let's sound out this word. Bang! All right, so now let's identify the three, the sounds in bag. The very first sound is a bounce sound. So you'd write a bounce sound here. The very, uh, the ah sound is a slide sound. So you'd write an S here. And g is a bounce sound, right? All right, so now, so, so we have three steps, right? Three dance moves. A bounce, slide, bounce, all right? So now we're going to dance it out, right? It's going to look like this. For the, for the word bag to you know to bust the move to dance it out it's gonna look like this it's gonna be I'm sorry it's gonna be bounce slide bounce all right let's try it all right so let's try it together right it's gonna be bounce slide bounce good job all right and I have to kind of think backwards because my right is your left so I have to think which way to go, right? So that's why I'm being kind of weird, all right? So let's look at the word gum. Gum, all right? All right? Let's write the dance steps for the word gum, all right? So for the, the g, the first sound is a bounce sound. So you would write a the letter B in the box, right? And the, and the uh sound, uh, that's a slide sound. So you write a s or an S in the box, and then mm, you write an S in the in the in the um, box, right? So now let's dance it out, right? So it would be bounce, slide, slide. Okay, good job. All right. So you're gonna do that for the for in your homework packet. You're gonna fill in. You're gonna um, sound off the the word. You're gonna write the dance steps, and then you're gonna bust the move. You're gonna dance it out. Good job. Good job. All right. Now. For my level one students, right? What in your homework package? You're going to find this page where I, I've all, I've um, given you symbols, right? If it's a slide sound, you'll see a sliding board. If it's a bounce sound, you'll see a, a ball, right? So for the word bag, say the word bag. Listen to the th the sound you hear in bag. In the word bag, you hear Bounce, slide, bounce, right? So to dance it out, you're gonna you're gonna bounce, slide, 
clouds. All right. What's this? All right. Now, what's the next word? Sound those three those three sounds out for me. Gum, gum, and listen for gum. You hear a bounce, slide, slide. Right. Bounce, slide, slide. All right. So you're gonna dance it out. Good job. Good job. All right. So, again, so that's in your homework packet. And so you're just going to sound off the words for my level one students. And then you're going to dance it out. Dance off the word. Dance the sound. Make the sound. Good job. Make the move. All right. So now, this is a page. If there, if there are any parents and reader teachers in the room, we're now going to do a sound out fluency. Right, and what that means is for my students, levels one, my levels two, and my levels three, but particularly my levels, especially I should say, my levels one. You now how to you now know how to read fifty nine words by yourself. Fifty nine words, right? And of those fifty nine words, you could probably read double that amount. Just by because you know these slide sounds, so you probably can read about 120 words, right? But for the sake of our classes, 59 words. So what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna go over all the words that you've learned so far. And so for my parents and reader teachers, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make two copies of the following. Um, I think it's two pages, and. You're gonna you're gonna sit side by side with your student, and as as they're reading the cross, if they if they make any mistakes, or you're just gonna write on your paper what what letter sound sounds are having the most problem with, and then you're gonna go back over and you're gonna practice practice practice, okay? So anyway, so this is in your homework packet, and it'll make more sense when you read it on your on your own. All right. So here's practice set number one, and this practice set. Right, we're gonna. It's time to show what you know. Okay, we've been leading up to this, right? So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna highlight the word. You're gonna read it, and then I'm gonna repeat it. Okay, go. Bag. Bag. Bib. Big. Ben, Bob, Bob, Bug, Bun, Buzz, Fib. Fig. They move up the screen a little bit so we can get all the words on the on the screen. Gag. Gal. Gap. Gas. Gob. Gum, gun, jab, job, lab, lag, lab. Leg, lip, lob, lug. Whoopsie daisy. Sorry about that. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Map, mop. Let me move the screen up just a little bit. Mop. I'm sorry. Did Tudor Vanessa mix you up? What's this word again? Mob. All right. Mug. Nag. Good 
Good job. Good job. Alrighty then. Alright. So we're going to continue on. You say it first and I'll say it. Nap. Nip. Pal. Pan. Peg. Pen. Pep. Pig. Pin. Pop. Pug. Pup. Rag. Wrap. Rib. Move the screen up a little bit. Rig. Rip. Rub. Rug. Sap. Sip. Sob. Sub. Up. Zig. Oopsie Daisy. Stop it. Zip. Good job. Good job. Alrighty then. So now. We're at the letter sound codes countdown. So far, you've learned 17 letter sound codes. And you've only got 86 to go. Right? I know it sounds like a lot, but we're moving right along. So let's look at the clock here. Right? So we've learned 17 letter sounds codes so far. Right? So we're right here. See the, see the arrow? We're right here between the, the 16 and the 20, right? Our goal is to learn 103 total letter sound codes, and we've learned 17 so far, right? Good job, good job, good job. All right. All right, so now, boys and girls, if there are any parents and reader teachers in the room, I need you to tell a friend, right? I need you to just tell any and everybody you know about these free private tutoring classes, okay? And Again, you can always send them to the, the um, website that you see here on the screen, sweetsoundsofreading.com, all right? And on the, on the website, you'll see a video channel lineup of all the classes that we've taught so far and all of the um, homework links, all right? So, Tutor Vanessa really needs your help in getting out the word about these free private tutoring classes, all right? So, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. All righty then. Well, with that being said, this is the end of today's class. Now, before you go, before you go, I want you to remember these quick things. I want you to remember that practice makes perfect, right? So you need to practice, practice, practice everything that you've learned, okay? And also, you know this, for children of the code, there's no such thing as a word too hard to read, all right? So, and again, all the parents and reader teachers in the room, I really like, I would really, really like for you to um, like this particular class. And if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to this channel. So, with that being said, I'll see you in the next class.